Just taking one last look at this hellhole. Ugh. On second thought, I've had enough of this place. Thanks for holding down the fort, Gabby. It was no trouble, Mr. White. Any sign of green? Last I heard, he was at the glass port, simply looking out at the ocean. Seems he's grown tired of his tantrum. He must be waiting for us. <sighs> nervous? Not nervous, just wistful, maybe. I always thought that if there was an afterlife, you'd be the best version of yourself when you got there. Huh? Green. He wasn't always this deluded and nihilistic. It's easy to forget after all that's happened, but like a family. Yeah. I guess it just hit me that even if we succeed today, nothing's gonna bring those times back. Nope. We're long past that point. Even Green knows that much. In life, he was fueled by revenge. In death, how could he forgive himself when he never learned what it means to forgive anyone else? Mm. It's easier to just... Forgiveness is the harder path for a reason. For all the time it takes and all the pain it brings, still won't undo any damage. It doesn't even make you into a better person. One might even say it's meaningless. And why pursue it? So you can move forward, forge a new mind peace. That's what this place used to be for, you know? A waiting room where you'd eventually realize that the only meaningless choice is one where you don't set your soul free. But I digress. This is it, Neons. Your final mission. Bring back God or doom us all to oblivion. Thanks for everything, Mikey. We won't let you down. Can you feel it, White? The window for Judgment Day is closing. I feel it all right. I see you've restored the Book of Life to its former glory. And I see you haven't done jack all. Where's the inkhorn? Or does that not play a role in your lame-ass plan? Of course it does. How else would I write the entire universe into the Book of Death? Then what the hell are you doing just standing around here? You still don't understand, do you, boy? We can't accomplish anything here without each other. Can you quit being such a drama queen for once and tell us what you're getting at? As it stands, God's life force is trapped within the firmament. Fast forward to how you intend to bring God's hand back inside. <laughs> Why bring his hand in when we can send his life force out? <gasps> we simply need to create an opening in the firmament that is larger than the pinhole that exists now. And how exactly do you plan to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Dear boy, the solution rests right upon your face. Like, mask? You know what these masks are made of, don't you? Angels? Angels once used the power of holy flame to create portals which allowed them fast travel throughout Sheol. But as you've seen the believers demonstrate, holy flame in conjunction with the soul produces incredibly destructive results. Like what happened when those neons were punished at the altar. an impressive collection of masks from the neons I've hunted thus far. If all were to detonate at once, well, that would certainly do a number on the firmament, don't you think? But we'd still need a soul. And I just don't plan to give up mine. Is that a threat? An empty one. With the book protecting us, he couldn't detonate our masks even if he wanted to. You're right. I can't. And neither you mine. See, the choice must come willingly. So what are you saying? That this is a suicide mission? The white eye you in life was always so obedient. He would have gladly volunteered for me. Too bad the white you knew is dead. Then, I suppose, we are at an impasse. That's fine. Let the window close. You'll come to your senses eventually. I've waited this long, after all. What's another year? I don't buy it. There's gotta be something else we can do. 
If you believe there exists an alternative I've somehow missed after all my years trapped in this godforsaken place, then by all means, find it. Where did you put the other masks? Directly above God's banished hand, the Colosseum. Then that's where we'll go. Wait, what? We just need a soul, right? Will what? You... Very well. I'll meet you both there. Red, no! You're not doing this. What choice do we have? We can think of something else. Just... There is nothing else. Time is running out. Just let me think for a second. White! This is the only way. <sighs> no. If anyone is blowing themselves up today, it's gonna be me. White, stop. You're the one that got us to this point. You're the only reason I'm even here. You should get to finish it. It's only fair. What the hell does fairness have to do with anything? I... I don't know. Please, don't make me do this. In all our years of training, only one person on our team could ever best Green in combat. Do you remember which one of us that was? Uh, uh... The fight against Green is yours, White. This one is mine. Red, no! I won't let you do this! Just let me go. Let me do this. You can't stop me, White.
Let me go. Let me do this. Stop! Please! You don't have to do this! I do. Just... Promise me you'll give us a better ending this time. So, it is done. Red! Tell me, boy, did it feel good to pass on to her the responsibilities I'd given you? Uh. She was always so stubborn, never could train that out of her. Uh. Oh, how she hated when you took her place. But what did she expect? She asked too many questions. You, however, would do anything I asked. So long as it meant we could fight. I could have sworn that fire within you still remained. But it seems I was mistaken. The white I once knew is dead. Not that it matters. It will all be gone soon enough. Go to hell. What was that? I said... Go to hell. Sick of hearing your crap. It ends here! One last battle to the goddamn finish! For yellow! For violet! Damn pen!
He's done for. Oh, what's going on? Is that you? What the hell are you talking about? It's me, Mikey. But you're not a cat? Yeah, no crap. I've been telling you guys that the whole time. Never mind, that ain't important. I just wanted to congratulate you. The Inkhorn has reunited with the books. God is reforming. Holy crap. <laughs> I did it? You did it, shrimp! You hear that, Red? Now, I hate to split so soon, but me and the other angels gotta help facilitate God's return. Make sure every toe is accounted for. Huh? That can't be good. Damn it! How is he not down yet? I don't know, but you can't let that brute get a hold of the Inkhorn before God is reformed. How long is that gonna take? I just had a freaking fight to the death. I'm running out of stamina. That pen is mine, White. The Inkhorn. I, I can use that, can't I? Hell, I don't see why not. Mr. Mikey, we could use some help here. Coming! Wait, don't leave yet. I don't know how to do this. What? It's a pen, kid. You just write with it. I know that. I meant, which book do I write in? Mikey! The choice is yours, White. Why? Damn it. I gotta think fast. Point. Give me that pen! It's already over, Green. What's happening to me? It didn't have to be like this, but you just never knew when to quit. It wasn't enough wallowing in your own hell. You had to drag us all down with you. But that ends here. No one else should have to pay the price for the choices you made. Ch choice? Deny it all you want, but you've always had a choice. Every step of the way. Each and every time, you picked annihilation over taking responsibility. Well, I think it's high time you finally pay the price for all the destruction you've wrought. Ugh. What have you done, boy? I gave you the ending you deserve. Ah! Ah! <sighs> so long, Green. Just a bit longer, guys. Come on, Raz, quit slacking. <sighs> yeah, he's out cold. Makes sense. Bortles were never meant to use the Inkhorn. Damn it, he really did it! The bastard saved heaven! <laughs> you hear that, White? Rest easy. It's finally over.
What? You're not gonna write the kid into the Book of Life? <sighs> oh, boss. You expect too much from mortals. Sure, he didn't technically follow the Judgment Day criteria. But, I don't know. I can't help but think he'd have decided differently if only he'd remembered the bigger picture better. Yeah, you're right. There's always the next life. Yeah. Yeah.